Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Maiten Guevara, and I welcome you to another edition of my alternate history series, or alternate election series, which will feature the 1956 U.S. elections between President Eisenhower, who was the incumbent president, and the senator from Tennessee, Estes Gefaver, who was the closest rival to Adlai Stevenson, who eventually became the nominee in 1956. So, again, like in my previous rule, previous rules, I'm not going to change any um, policy. I'm not going to change any event that took course during this during this period. But rather, we would just see head to head who is Kefauver going to avoid the landslide victory of Eisenhower in this scenario because Eisenhower was really a popular president as of this time as he was seeking a second term and uh, Eisenhower had a good run of a first term. I think he uh, ended the Korean War. He uh, began talks with the Soviet Union on uh, dismantling any nuclear weapon or the reduction of nuclear arm deals with other countries and also he um, decided to uh, balance, you know, um, the aggression of the Soviet Union by containing them. So this one is really hard because Gefaver was a New Deal Democrat and he was also somewhat from the South as he is from Tennessee, so he's going to attract a lot of support from this area right here. This area would probably go this area would go to his favor and also the South, of course. The South is solidly known to uh, go to the Democrats back in the day. So, I don't know much about Senator Gefaver, but Gefaver is also hard on um, civil rights, and that would uh, probably alienate some, but not all, of the southern states. But I also believe that Gefaver um, ignored all of the uh, segregation activities of of uh, of the south because he is from the south and uh he tried to focus on the economic economic aspect of the democrats platform instead of um leaning towards um the social issues that bothered most democrats especially during this time Adlai Stevenson didn't win be hardly because he was trying to ignore the same thing, although he was a northern Democrat, so it was harder for him to really um, gain attraction in the north. So, will Gefaver succeed, or will Eisenhower remain unstoppable during this time? So, there are other issues that we have to discuss. Um, the McCarthy hearings as well was pretty controversial back in the day. It, communism was very, very much a hot topic, and Joseph McCarthy was uh, particularly known for leading Senate investigations on uh, people who are presumed to be sympathizers of the Communist Party in the United States. And uh, Hungary, of course, was an issue. Remember, the Soviet Union invaded Hungary as it, uh, Hungary tried to uh, open up democratic reforms in their country, although, of course, they were part of the Eastern Bloc, so they were invaded. Of course, um, it was, uh, I think, during this time that the Vice President, Richard Nixon, decided to have a debate with uh, Nikita Khrushchev, who um, succeeded the Stalinist regime of the Soviet Union, and he decided to somewhat liberalize the social issues of the country. And also, this was also the time that a Britain and a France invaded the Suez Canal because of the fact that Egypt wanted to nationalize the Suez Canal, and what happened was Egypt was able to gain control of the Suez Canal all thanks to the United States intervention, which is strange because Britain and France were allies with the United States at the same time 
they of course were trying to somewhat hold on to their colonial power back then. So, will Kefauver remain, I mean, of course I've discussed about the civil rights issue, but will he remain president, will he win more votes than Eisenhower? No, but he will win more votes than the actual nominee, who is Adlai Stevenson, who was the former governor of Illinois. So let's begin. Indiana would go for Eisenhower. I mean, this this state has not gone to Democrat. Even during this time, it won't go for a Democrat. Same thing in Vermont. Vermont was pretty much Republican back in the day. However, I'm giving Georgia and South Carolina to Kefauver because he is from the South. He's He will attract a lot of votes in the South, notably with some New Deal programs. And uh, I'm going to leave Kentucky as a toss-up. So, moving on, I'm giving West Virginia to Kefauver, although I think Eisenhower would have a, a strong competition, or he will play the state in because of his strong popularity, but I think Kefauver will gain the upper hand. And uh, moving on, I'm giving Oklahoma to Eisenhower, I'm giving Massachusetts to Eisenhower. I'm also giving Connecticut to Eisenhower. I'm giving New Jersey. And uh, I'm also giving Maine to Eisenhower. I'm leaving off uh, New Hampshire. I'm leaving off Delaware and Maryland because I think if Harvard would have gained some traction there. North Carolina would have gone to to Favre. So, uh... That leads us to 69 and 42, although Alabama, Mississippi would have also gone for Kefauver, same, same thing in uh, Tennessee, that's his own state. Missouri, I'm leaving that open, and Florida, I'm also leaving that open. Okay, so now Kefauver's in the lead, but I'm also giving Eisenhower, Kansas, his own state, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, Wisconsin, I'm giving that to Eisenhower, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and the state of New York, and that puts him to 203. Now, I'm giving Kefauver, Louisiana, I'm giving Kefauver, Arkansas, and I'm also giving him, uh, for, for the hang of it, I'm going to give him Florida. Now, I'm going to explain that. I think Florida's just pretty rule for Eisenhower to really gain support because Eisenhower had the support of urban Republicans and that gives him enough strength to win in big cities like Philadelphia, New York City, Milwaukee, and Detroit back in the day. But I'm not so sure with other states in the South. So I'm giving uh, Eisenhower Virginia because it was a military state. I'm also giving him Rhode Island because they were pretty liberal on many issues, notably on civil rights. Kefauver will have a hard time winning in the North, except the interior, mid interior I mean the exterior Mid-Atlantic, which I left, um, which I left open. So I'm giving Colorado to Eisenhower. I'm also giving Utah and Arizona to Eisenhower and Nevada as well. However. I'm giving Minnesota to Kefauver. I'm giving New Hampshire to Kefauver. I'm also giving him, for the benefit of the doubt, I'm giving him Kentucky. I think he can, he can win Kentucky. But I think um, Eisenhower will still remain victory, victor in Ohio. That puts him at five, I mean, five votes away from the presidency. And I'm giving New Mexico to Eisenhower, and I'm giving Idaho to Eisenhower. That, that gives him the slight victory now. So, so far, we can see that um, Kefauver did um, went beyond what I, Adlai Stevenson was able to win, especially he was able to win New Hampshire, because in the primaries of 1956, Kefauver won it heavily against Stevenson. So I'm also leaving Montana behind and Texas behind because I think he can win in those states. However, I'm giving California, I'm giving Oregon and Washington 
to the President of the United States, and that leads us to the remaining states. So I think Eisenhower would have still won it in a huge national margin. So I think he can win Illinois because it was pretty much urban, and he can also win the farm part, the farm portion of Illinois. I'm also giving him Iowa, but I'm giving Missouri to Kefauver, and I'm also giving Eisenhower Texas because he was winning. He'll win in a huge, huge margin. So will Montana go blue? I'm I'm guessing it will be tight, but Eisenhower would still won that. It's pretty red. No, it, Montana hasn't voted blue since um, Harry Truman in 1948 and it was split by Eisenhower in 1952, so the Mid-Atlantic states, I think Delaware would have gone for for uh, Kefauver, and the same thing in Maryland. So here's the map. This is just my, pretty much my initial opinion for this. Kefauver would win 150 electoral votes. He will exceed the uh, electoral votes amassed by the real Democratic candidate, Adlai Stevenson, while President Eisenhower would remain the president by garnering 381 electoral votes. So, if you have any comments, you can click that, or you just just uh, comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. It's Martin Guevara, and we'll do more alternate election series as the days move along quarantine time, so I'm under quarantine, so I have much time to uh, create videos, so thank you very much guys for watching, stay safe.